I'm here with James Songs and Ian Byrne from Ferns. Uh, lads, you must be over the moon with that win. Oh, it's actually unbelievable just to finally get over the line. Like, Jesus, our voices are gone. And look at the sport we have as a small club. Like, it's just after he's on 15 years senior now, I think, you know what I mean? And contesting at the top table for a lot of it. And just to go over the line eventually is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. How do you feel, Ian? I tell you, I've, I'm just in shock, to be honest. I whistle went and I just crumbled and I think the reaction is to celebrate but I couldn't I just I just can't believe it I'm just genuinely to give probably the best part of your life to try to achieve something and to to finally get over the line there with such a group it's just it means absolutely everything it genuinely does you know it's just speechless for a very historic town uh, you've certainly made history today how does that feel to be the first ever winners of senior titles in France Special, but I don't think anyone's going to think about Dermot McMurray and the lads this, 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 tonight now. They might be in the castle, all right, but be, the fire brigade was there last week. I probably should have stayed because I said the place would be burnt down tonight, <laughs> to be honest. But a uh, long time waiting, but look, it's all worth it when you see scenes like this, like, you know, special. And James, you opened the scoring and you're playing wing back. I probably should have had another one. I don't do nerves really, but my first two balls fell out of my hand and so look, it all worked out in the end. It doesn't really matter what happens, who scores or who gets what. Like, you know, we got bring a great goal. But, more of a footballer and you could see that with the goal like but uh kind of put us in good stead going at half time but look the martins never went away and they never will like they're a great team and she is their gentlemen as well after the match you know losing the county final but you know they'll be back again they're a young team they're coming again they'll have jack and rory and another few back you know joe is away there and you know wexford champions is wide open when you get these chances you have to take them because they don't come around very often you know and ian you scored a crucial goal or crucial score at um from the sideline, I believe. Uh, did you pick up an injury when that happened? Yeah, very first strike of the ball, to be honest. Um, just felt the grind kind of tear, and I knew I was on one leg, and you know, I tried to kind of keep fighting till half time, and I kind of got strapped up at half time, was hoping that I might hold up, but first couple of balls came in. Um, I was doing, doing basically that team more harm than anything, so sometimes you just got to kind of be a little bit unselfish and, you know, put the team first, and that's what we've been trying to do all year. You know, it's we have such a squad, we've used 20 every day, and you know, to, to, I know it's heartbreaking to come off in the county final, but I had full faith in the lads. You know, I just kind of put my hands in me, or head of my hands in the sideline, and I don't think I looked at the last 25 minutes, but I just knew, I just knew we'd go over the line. I just deep down, I had, I just knew it was going to be our day. You definitely have a very strong panel. It seemed anyone who came on, the team just seems to get stronger and stronger as you go along. So um, I think we leave it there. Congratulations, and let you back to your celebrations. There will be a lot of celebrations. There will be a lot of celebrations. Thanks, lads.